everybody and another podcast another podcast i hope that you're okay and i hope that you're well so my name is joan Walton brown i work as a family support worker a school counselor a content creator i deliver um, school assemblies about school speaking a training to adults about mental health and i'm a really proud ambassador for the charity of max and everything that they're looking to achieve and they're working towards is just incredible and we have this series of podcasts so if you haven't watched any of the previous ones then please do check them out and um, there's some fantastic topics that the, the team and I have come up with to help you and to help improve your mental health and just you as a person. Now in this particular video I would like us to explore something which is really important it's about confidence, it's about self-esteem, it's about self-worth, it's about maybe overcoming shyness in case you are a shy person and in this video it's full of tips and hints and just trying to get you to build your self-awareness and, and that's what these podcasts are about. By building your self-awareness will just allow you to kind of recognise your potential. Now being different might seem as if it's you know has its ups and downs and I'm sure it does for you and your confidence but actually as you get older and I think you might just have to take my word for this or Maybe you've been told this from um, the adults in your life that care for you. Actually, beauty is something that is, is more importantly from within. Somebody's soul that is kind and generous and loving, that, that is what is attractive as a person. The thing is, though, we live in a society where people think that actually it's about looks. And that's not the case. And as you get older, you'll certainly get to realise that. But what I've heard and, and from working with the team about the, the children and the young people that they work with is that they work with some incredible children and the children are full of, um, they're, they're resilient, they're determined, they're hardworking and I really need you to recognise that there's these values within us as well as you being beautiful in your own way because we all are, we all are and don't forget that we all have maybe these um, hang-ups on, on different parts of our body. Now, whether that's you, whether that's me, whether that's um, your friends, there's always something. But actually what we need to do is we need to stop and we actually need to think about and recognise actually who we are as a person. And just to remind ourselves about those qualities, those qualities, because it's those being kind, caring, loving, supportive, um, a good listener somebody that allows other people to feel like a somebody. Now that, that is what is attractive about somebody. That's it, it's right there. Now, what I'd like us to do is to just recognise that our self-esteem is about the way that we think and feel about who we are as a person. Now, self-esteem will have moments where it's really high and we really believe in ourselves. And this is not just you as young people and children, this is us as adults as well. And then there's other times where, guess what? We're really knocked with confidence at the moment. So it's just about learning to understand that our self-esteem really can affect our confidence, okay? And I'm gonna come on to that shortly, but what I would like to introduce you to is I'd like to introduce you to how our brain works with something called an inner critic. Now, often I'll have children and young people come to me and they'll say, Hearing this voice in my head and I think it freaks them out and I get that but actually what that is is that's often our own inner voice and our own inner voice um, is, is like a critic sometimes it can be really unkind it might be our voice it might be a deeper voice uh, a higher pitch voice but we can hear that voice within us that can sometimes be a bit like a bully and sometimes it might say um, you look no good in that um, you're thick you're stupid you can't do that you're rubbish, you're pathetic, nobody wants to be your friend. And this inner critic can go and go and go. And often it's this inner critic that can really affect our self-esteem. Now, my question to you is, would you ever, I don't know, say you've handed in a piece of work at school, and as you're handing it in, you're like, that's, that's pathetic, that's, that's no good, um, you've done a rubbish job with that piece of work. Would you ever say that to your best friend? Would you ever say to them, that's, that's, that's a crap piece of work, that's rubbish, that piece of work. No, because that's not what we do with our friends. Therefore, we shouldn't be doing that to ourselves. So what I'd like to introduce you to is this inner critic. 
Um, some people call it their inner cheerleader. It's this inner voice. It's this inner voice that's calm and kind. And it might say, I really can't do that. Yet. Okay. This is the positive thing that can really talk back to that inner critic. The thing is, though, I need you to become more aware of that inner critic. And what I'd love for you to do is to write on a piece of a post-it note, on a piece of a post-it note, grab a piece of paper or a post-it note, and I'd love for you to write the word enough. And I'd love for that word, let me see, you know how Jojo said, or Jo said, me said, that these are unedited, they're just you and me, just like this, okay? And this saying enough. Now, I'd like this to remind you, and, and have it somewhere where you can see it, and for it to be that if you have got that inner critic going off, then enough. I don't want you to go, oh, enough. I want enough. And actually, if you are in a really good mood and if you are in touch with your inner coach, your inner cheerleader, this will remind you, guess what? Yes, you are enough. So it's these little hints and tips that can actually allow us to be reminded about all the amazing things that we are. Now, another thing is that people will give us compliments in life. Picture this. If you were to always give your best friend a present, every day you gave your best friend a present. Sometimes they were massive presents and sometimes they were little presents. Sometimes it was jewellery, sometimes it was chocolates. And every day you give your friend a present, eventually they stop saying thank you. Eventually they stop showing that they're actually grateful for it. What will happen eventually is that you'll stop wanting to give that person a present every day. Now imagine that word, instead of presents, imagine that as compliments. Now if people keep on giving you compliments and you keep saying, you don't mean it, or oh, whatever, people are going to stop giving you compliments. And what I need you to do is I need you to store your compliments, okay? Because you remember when I said about our self-esteem, sometimes we, it's really high and we believe in ourselves and sometimes it's really low and we don't. I need us to say thank you to those compliments. Now, you might not believe in them, and that's okay. But do you know what? That person has gone out of their way to give you a compliment. I want you to just say thank you. And I want you to store that in your, in your mind, in that compliment bank. Because when you are thinking about something that you might not necessarily like about yourself, I want you to think, oh, hang on a minute. And I want you to tap into something else. It's all about being able to accept that. Now... Having confidence is something that's really important because it's having the ability to trust in ourselves. It's having the ability to recognize that actually, hang on a minute, we're a good person. Now, my question to you would be, well, what does confidence look like? Now, I'm not asking you to become cocky and arrogant. I'm asking you to become, build this self-belief, recognize your self-worth, build on your self-esteem and become confident. A confident person is somebody that has open body language, okay? So when I've done presentations at Google before, um, if I was to go on the stage and, and I'm like this, you know, and there's 250 people, if not more, and I'm like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people aren't going to want to listen to me. People aren't going to want to believe in what I'm saying. So it's about having open body language, okay? It's about having this voice. I want you to use your voice. Guess what? You matter in this world. People deserve to hear your voice. Use it, okay? Use it loud and proud. Again, it's about you believing in yourself. It's about being talkative, and I'm gonna to come to overcoming shyness in a bit, but it's about being talkative. And if you really struggle with that, then guess what it is? Practice, 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 practice. Um, it's about sometimes being less fidgety. You know, it's about having less, um, or sorry, making more of an eye contact with people. I'm not asking you to, to stare them straight in the eye, but somebody that's confident, somebody that believes in themselves, somebody that actually has the ability to recognize their self-worth can hold this eye contact. Top tip, if you really struggle to make eye contact and you feel that you're looking deep into their, their soul with making that eye contact, just look at the bridge of their nose, okay? The bridge of their nose, because that, it looks like you're looking and you're making eye contact, but actually you're just looking at the bridge of their nose and that might be easy for you. So what I'd like us to do 
is I'd like you to think that the more confident you are, again, not cocky, not arrogant, but the more confident you are, then you'll have this ability to achieve so much more. So much more because actually what you'll be doing is you'll be putting yourself out there. And that that is what is so important. Now, in order to become more confident, I need you to present yourself with that confidence. I need you to really try and overcome that, that, that closed body language, head down, quiet voice, not making eye contact. Now, sometimes the best thing that you can do, and you're going to laugh at me here, but actually the best thing that you can do is to practice speaking to yourself in the mirror. Practice. Practice. Because actually, it's where you'll become aware of actually the way that you sound. Now, I've got to be honest, whenever I do the YouTube videos, I cannot stand listening to my voice. But actually, do you know what? It's about recognising that even though I can't stand that, it's about finding out, you know, the importance of my words, the importance of my message. So just like we all have those cut-ups about different things, it's about sometimes exposing yourself to them as well. Now, I need us to realise that every single one of us has imperfections. Every single human being has imperfections. Now, if I was to tell you that sometimes my cut-up might be, um, it used to be my teeth, um, it's my moles, it's um, my height. I don't know if, you, if I've said this before, but I'm only four foot 11, I'm only size two feet. You know, I have these imperfections and these cut ups. And I promise you that if you speak to every single adult out there, I bet you they'd be able to tell you what theirs is. Now, what it is, is it's about realizing that actually those imperfections make me, me. They make me, me. Your imperfections make you, you. Do you remember me about saying at the beginning of this video, actually, real beauty comes from within. It comes from within. There's this great quote, Dr. Seuss. Oh, Joey, don't get this wrong. Those that matter don't mind, and those that mind don't matter. Which basically means that actually the people that love you and care for you they don't mind what you look like. They love you for you. And if you do have people that actually might pick on you or might show you um, disrespect, then guess what? They should not matter to you anyway. And we've got a video coming up, a, a podcast coming up um, about how to overcome uh, people being unkind. Um, People. There's a difference between name calling and bullying, but really how to overcome those type of feelings as well. So that's coming up. Oh, it's so much, isn't it? Oh, I love this. Okay, so moving on about confidence, it's to accept that we're in. You know that we have those imperfections. It's to stop trying to achieve perfection. You know, if you was to look at models on the TV, um, you know, artists, anybody, you don't realise how much makeup they wear and how much it's called um, airbrushing airbrushing it's basically how they can make somebody look taller and slimmer and um, no no stretch marks or scars or anything like that that's not real so just realize that actually what we're up against is not real it's not perfect um and i need you to have a certain element of self-compassion self-compassion is having the ability to recognize um that actually we need to praise ourselves. we need to compliment ourselves. Now, one of my favourite jobs um, when I go into schools is, um, and you can do this at home with your own family, is you could it could be a hampering, it could be um, a scarf. Let it be something that you know you can keep. And basically, with other members of the family or with yourself or with your friends, you put your name in the middle and you get other people to write one positive comment about you. Okay? One positive comment about you. And then you can't see it until the end. Okay, and again, you've done the same, so you, you swap it around. And then eventually what will happen is that you'll get a star. I only did this with um, three other people. And actually, it has about the different qualities that they like about me. And then this um, is on my fridge. This could be on your mirror. This, because this is completed by people that know you, love you and care for you. This is accurate. Now, if you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to instantly see something that you believe um, might not necessarily be attractive about yourself or that you've got a real cut up and, and you're hung up about, then actually 
what I want you to do is before you look in that mirror, I want you to remind yourself of something that you do like about yourself. Your smile, it might be the colour of your eyes, it might be your hair, it might be, um, oh, I'm trying to think, there's so many different things, but the physical qualities, it might be the length of your hair, it might be the way that you style your hair, it might be the fashion. But what I want you to do is before you look into your mirror, into that mirror, I want you to remind yourself, actually, I really do love my smile. Okay? Because then when you look in the mirror, guess what you're going to be looking at? You're going to be looking at your smile. Now, if it's something that you're, you're not proud about, the way that you look, so it might be um, the colour of your hair, okay? then guess what? When you're looking into the mirror, what are you going to be looking at is that. Okay? So it's about you being open and real, but it's about shifting that mindset and really having the ability to believe in yourself. Now... There's something that also can happen for some people is that they can be really shy, really quiet. And actually that can be really hard. So actually what I'd love for us to do is to work on overcoming shyness. Now this might not count and this might not mean anything to you, but it's just for you to recognise that actually a shy person, they're not silly because they're still in the same conversations. They're still taking it all in. Okay, They're just quiet and shy. So I always fear sometimes a shy, quiet person because... They're, they're clued up about what's going on in this circle of friendship. They might just be a bit more quieter about it. Now, again, it's about practicing our body language. It's about practicing our talking. It's about everything like that. But what I want you to do is I want you, when you are speaking to somebody new or when you are trying to overcome that shyness, is that I want you to shift your focus from maybe it all being about you to it being about them. Top tip, people love talking about themselves, okay? So actually, if you're really shy and you're really quiet and, oh, this person is asking about me, is, you know, just turn it around. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How about you? Okay, because then when we can open that up, what we're doing is we're engaging in that conversation. So ask questions. My next one is to, if we are a shy person, and again, this is practice, if somebody's asked you a question, I want you to learn to elaborate on your, on your response. I want you to learn to really try and pull out that sentence. So instead of somebody saying, um, do you like football? For you to go, yeah, I like football. But actually scrap that and I really want you to go, yeah, I like football and I support this team. Yeah, I like this football and I like to go and watch it. Really just practice trying to, to lengthen those sentences. It takes time, it takes effort and you're going to come out of your comfort zone. Um, my next one is that I want you to learn to have a story to share. I had one of my clients once, they actually um, felt that if they were to introduce themselves, they actually felt that they have nothing positive to say about, oh, hi, I'm this and I do this. So actually what she did is she actually joined um, a girls football team because then it was like, hi, my name is this and tell me something about yourself and like, oh, I like to play girls football. So maybe what it is, is you might need to start a hobby or something where actually you can become and you can create this story that you really want to have. And then my last one is that if we are shy and if somebody is talking to us, I want you to show that you're present. I don't want this. I really want you to try and overcome that. And I want you to show that you're present. I want you to show them that you're listening. Maybe ask those questions or go, mm -hmm. you know, try and make that eye contact, even if it's the bridge of their nose. Because also... I need you to recognise that you have these qualities that people need to know about. Okay, You are great in your own way. The slight hiccup is that you don't see that you're worth. And you are so worth it. You just don't see it. And I bet you, all the family members in your life, and I know the charity, I, I bet you they see the qualities of who you are. And if they're the people that really matter in your life and really care about you and love you, then surely their opinion matters. So maybe what you need to do is you need to start listening to them and taking on those compliments. Taking on those compliments. Anyway, I'm so sorry when I look down. I've got so many things that I want to say. And because this is the real Joe, unedited, I can't remember a lot of that. Look down, look down. Anyway, I want you to just be you. Be real and be you. And the world will adjust. The world will adjust.